Guys, this song has meme god legend status, but Africa by Toto probably doesn't mean what you think it means. According to the guitarist of the band, the lyrics are actually super confusing and don't really mean a lot. That, however, is actually kind of not true. I've got the scoop, and I'm gonna help you guys know exactly what you're talking about when you are memeing this song. Hi everybody, I'm Clifford Stemmy, the pop song professor. Welcome to my channel where we make English class awesome by explaining lyrics and sometimes roasting them on weekdays. Today we are talking about the ultimate song, probably the only song actually. The rest of these musical things are just trash because we are talking about Africa by Toto today. Toto was a rock, funk, pop, everything band that formed in 1976 and actually did their last tour in the 2000s. They've been around the block a couple of times, but probably the only reason that you guys, especially you younger people, have heard of them is because of their song, Africa. And it is actually super interesting, the meaning. Uh, let me go ahead and read a little bit about what David Page, I may be saying that wrong, said about the song. He says that it's about a, quote, white boy trying to write a song on Africa, but since he's never been there, he can only tell what he's seen on TV or remembers in the past. Now, the characters in the song aren't necessarily this white boy, but that's basically how he's describing himself. In another interview, he explains that he went to an all-boys Catholic school and that they would hear from missionaries who would talk about going out and like giving Bibles to the native Africans uh, or blessing their crops or even blessing the rains, which is where the line, I bless the rains down in Africa comes from. The missionaries told him that loneliness and not being able to get married because they were Catholic priests was the most difficult part about the job. So basically, he wrote about somebody coming in to meet one of the lonely missionaries. But in another interview, he said it's not really about a romantic relationship. It is about romance in a sense, but it's about the romance of Africa as a beautiful, mysterious, interesting place. So if you're tracking with me so far, basically the song is from the perspective of a missionary who lives in Africa and somebody is flying in to meet him. And so Paige and the rest of Toto with them are trying to capture the magic of not knowing much about Africa from first-hand experience, but really kind of being very curious and wanting to know more about it. So if we jump into the lyrics we hear in verse 1, I hear the drums echoing tonight, but she hears only whispers of some quiet conversation. Because the next line is, she's coming in 12.30 flight but he hears the drums echoing because he's actually in Africa. The moonlit wings, perhaps those of the airplane, reflect the stars that guide me towards salvation, which could maybe be him seeing the Catholic missionaries as working towards their salvation by being missionaries. He's walking along apparently, he stops an old man along the way, hoping to find some old forgotten words or ancient melodies. He turns to me as if to say, hurry boy, it's waiting there for you. That thing that's waiting is the, the mystery, the beauty, the wonder of Africa. And in the chorus we hear Bobby Kimball sing, it's gonna take a lot to drag me away from you, Africa. There's nothing that a hundred men or more could ever do. I bless the rains down in Africa. He's saying I am a missionary down in Africa, blessing the rains for people. And even though he's ministering to people, in a way in this song, Africa is really ministering to him. Gonna take some time to do the things we never have. There's a little bit of meaning impact here. The, the guitarist was kind of correct in that the lyrics don't completely make sense. This is partially about the, the singer, the songwriter wanting to like live life and that could mean getting married, having kids, doing stuff like that. But it also has to do with exploring or visiting Africa himself. So you can see there's a little bit of a perspective switch from the missionary to him. And verse two is more describing Africa. The wild dogs crowd in the night as they go restless, longing for some solitary company. There's a bug in my studio. I don't like bugs. Uh, but I know that I must do what's right, as sure as Kilimanjaro rises like Olympus above the Serengeti. I seek to cure what's deep inside, frightened of this thing that I've become. He has this longing, this need for something bigger and interesting and mystical even. And he thinks Africa is going to be that thing for him. Now I know that you guys don't always feel that need for something bigger and deeper, but when you do, Africa by Toto memes are pretty good. But I gotta recommend, if you ever get the chance to travel outside of your own country, I mean, in this case, particularly to Africa, but really to anywhere, it's a hugely interesting experience. And don't go there just to go to the touristy things. Walk around a neighborhood, go see the nature, go like check out the, the normal things that people experience when they're in that place. You'll learn a lot and you'll really enjoy it. But guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Down below, hit me up with your best Africa by Toto joke slash memes, and I'll talk to you guys next time.